Kim Kardashian fears upsetting Tristan Thompson after he blocked her on Instagram for Chloe comments. She's paved her way as the matriarch of influencers. And Kim Kardashian admitted she's being a little more careful with her words during an interview in New York with Kelly and Ryan, set to air on Friday morning. The 37-year-old reality television star told the talk show hosts that she's rooting for sister Chloe and Tristan Thompson, after decrying Tristan's recent infidelity accusations as so effed up on the L and the generous show. When Ryan asked, is there any part of you that roots for Chloe and Tristan, Kim was quickly responded, yeah, I mean, she said as the audience could be heard chuckling in the background, okay, last time I went on TV and I answered some questions about her I got blocked on social media, and not from Chloe, Kim said, so, I'm going to, yes, I'm always rooting for her, I'm always rooting for love, she went on to say that, I'm always rooting for families, before Kelly quickly chimed in, as your attorney, that's a great answer. Chloe recently gave birth to daughter True in April, just days after multiple cheating allegations against the Cleveland Cavaliers basketball player surfaced. While Chloe has stayed holed up at their Cleveland, Ohio home, Kim admitted that her little sister is reveling in being a new mom. Honestly, she's so focused on her baby. Her baby is gorgeous. Gorgeous. The Keeping Up with the Kardashians star gushed. So, you know, she's so happy. During an April interview with Ellen, Kim admitted her feelings toward Chloe's situation as I don't even know how to describe it besides it's just so effed up. She went on to say that we really were rooting for Chloe and we still are, before adding, you know she's so strong and she's doing the best that that she can. It's a really sad situation all over. In another hot topic surrounding the Kardashian world, Kim said her husband Kanye West is doing really good, in spite of his recent comments on social media and during interviews. He's in Wyoming recording, she said. He has a couple albums, so he's just focused on that. I will say, he gave me my first gray this week, and I am blaming that on him. But no, he's doing really good. After a series of tweets praising President Donald Trump, Kanye implied that slavery was a choice during an interview with TMZ before asking the room if they thought he was thinking free. I actually don't think you are thinking anything. TMZ's Van Lathan quickly cracked back at West, as many would in the ensuing hours. Lathan said while West gets to live the elite artist's life, the rest of us in society have to deal with these threats in our lives. We have to deal with the marginalization that has come from the 400 years of slavery that you said for our people was our choice. 